All right, guys, we got the hole dug, and uh, Jerry has started roughing it on the driveway. We're going to get started on footers, so let me show you what we got. All right, guys, here we are down the hole. Let me show you what we got. So this, we got the house laid out. And we've got rebar pins drove in the four corners of the house. And our former drain footer sits back. So we got these offset back 10 inches both ways, which put the wall right in the middle of the footer. We run these strings around here and we drive all of our stakes for those strings. So the uh, hole turned out really good. We got uh, we're just a little snug in a few places. And I got a little crazy and overdug a little bit in that corner. But it's, uh, it's not bad. It's all still acceptable tolerances, I guess you'd say. But... For those of you guys that ain't familiar with former drain, it's, uh, it is just what it says it is. Uh, you guys will see as we keep on going here, but this is, it's the form and the drain. So concrete goes on this side where it has no perforations. And then on the other side, it's perforated where water can get into there. So you use it uh, as your footer form and then it stays in place as your uh, foundation drain. It works, works pretty good, especially in the type of dirt we got around here. But, uh, We'll raise it up off the bottom about an inch and then we'll come back to a little bit of gravel around it and go from there. So we're going to keep on going on on our footers here, get started. Randy there, he's only got one leg so we had to dig him an ADA ramp over here. Hey, the good news is your uh, hand's back in one piece though, right? Yeah. So you have uh, three usable limbs now? Yeah. Because you were down to what? Two? Well, four if you count. <laughs> it's a family channel, Randy. It's a family channel. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys. Here's kind of a quick end of the day report. Uh, first big task for the day was we did get the uh, basement dug. That all went pretty good. Uh, got a little water diversion ditch in up here just in case we get a rain. There's not much rain in the forecast. And, Spool piled out there. Uh, they're gonna backfill up against the house after it's all said and done. So that's probably how it's gonna stay until we're done. But we got a good start on the footers. We're actually a few couple are short. I'm gonna pick them up on the way through town tomorrow. But we got a footer inspection in the morning, and then uh, they'll get rebar and gravel in. I got concrete coming about noonish tomorrow. So and then uh, I don't know if you can see off in the distance, but Jerry got a pretty good, pretty good. Uh, start on getting the driveway wrapped in so yeah all in all it was a pretty productive day and we shall show back up in the morning and do it all over again guys we are back down here and back at it again today we are getting close we got all the uh, former drain up to grade I'll uh, I'll give you a little rundown of how that works here in a minute after we get all the system together but uh, next thing we need to do is, is we got some rock up there so grade is grade is pretty close especially for digging it with a traco up high but uh, we'll come back throw a little bit of 11s throw some 11s around there fill in a few low spots uh, for example right here and then uh, get a little rock around the outside so holds concrete better and then put rebar in and get ready for concrete i got a lot going on this morning i'll uh show you guys this other project later we got uh cleaning down here working on the road we're holding some dirt into the road down here get it built up a little bit and uh hopefully have concrete here pretty soon 
right, guys, I'm trying to go back and forth this morning between uh, loading dirt out for the driveway and placing some rock down here for these guys to get ready for the pour. <laughs> We use number 11s for this, not because they're the cheapest, but they're the cheapest thing that's easy to work with for us, I guess. They work pretty good. See if this old girl will fire up this morning and we'll go down there and uh, bust out a few piles and see what we got on this driveway. the deal on this and uh hope anybody don't take this the wrong way i promise i'm not picking on nobody but this is the difference between somebody that knows what they're doing building a driveway and somebody just building a driveway they think they know what they're doing but the deal here is there's a low spot through here and even going up that hill when we strip the topsoil the road is still lower than the surrounding dirt on both sides and you gotta get the road up you don't get the road built up the road becomes the ditch and well, if you ever try driving in a ditch the rails is pretty much self-explanatory from there so that's why we're hauling all this dirt down here and on top of that is really good dirt so that helps out quite a bit too we're just trying to get this road built up a foot or so uh, so the water stays in the ditch and not on the road 
et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I know I'll make this turn in off here a whole lot nicer. So we got a few loads down here. I'm gonna take a dozer and bust them out and see where we, where we run out elevation wise. And then uh, we'll go from there. Right, guys there's she is just kind of roughed in it's getting it's getting close to where we want it i'll right, get one more load of dirt in here and then we'll probably start back where the truck's at and go on up the hill a little bit but uh this is man this is some, this is perfect material for this Pull forward as you dump. It's about twisting my ankle, Randy. Got a rock all in. Randy's uh, getting rebar in. We'll have to get it tied yet. And uh, we should be ready for concrete. I think we should be ready for concrete in less than an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and call and get her ordered and see what happens. What do you think? Concrete in an hour? Yeah. All right. See if I can get a whole, whole Davy. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see your uncle. You got anything you'd like to say about that on YouTube? No. <laughs> oh, come on now. No. This is the, this is the part-time help that's, what do you guys think? I think he's Amish. He's getting there. He's been working on it. Now you're gonna have to change about your habits. eight ha months. You're gonna have to change your habits though. That's eight months? Hey, hang on, hang on. I'll go get it in a little bit. I got a straw hat in the truck. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yes, sir, Mike. Uh, I need some concrete. Okay. Uh, 10 yards, 3,000 footer mix. All right. Uh, corner of 550 and 70 in Newtonville. And we'll be, as soon as you come out of Newtonville, just look to the right. You'll see us. We're up on the hill here. You can't, okay. can't miss it. All right. We got uh, right. dirt piled everywhere. And then uh, we'd be ready in about an hour. Okay, we'll be there at 9.30. Yep, sounds good. I do need the uh, long elephant trunk. Okay. All right. See, uh, uh, about 20 minutes apart? Yeah. You sending two trucks, I guess? Okay. Yeah. Do what? About 20 minutes apart will work good. Okay, all right. We'll see you there in an hour. All right, see you in a bit. All right, thank you, Mike.
driveway's looking pretty good it's shaping up it's rough around the edges i haven't got anything polished up yet but cleanman's got a loaded truck here i'm gonna have him just back up and down at one time just kind of packing in make sure we ain't got any soft spots or anything we need to address Split your tracks going back up and then dump this load right there where it starts going up the hill. Yep. Looking good. I think she's gonna make a nice road out of this after all. Well, boys and girls, our uh, concrete truck is rolling in, so it is time to pour some footers. So, like an excellent idea there, Mr. Amish. Terrible idea. See if I can do this without wearing any concrete on my head. That'll work. Let her fly her. I guess we ordered air. That new style of concrete that just came out with it. Oh, is it invisible kind? Yeah. It's really easy to work. We'll right. get a good shot of uh cleaning and loading truck up there while we're waiting on concrete. Hopefully, oh, I guess it don't matter if Hoover watches this one because we're not really going on the road. We're kind of building the road, so I guess we're legal. All right, I hear uh that is some. That's some of Tell City's finest right there. There we go. All right, we got started pouring over there. Everything's looking pretty good. I forgot that I was going to give you guys a little explanation of how former drain works. So. It's basically a three-part system. You got the stakes, the forms, and the spacers. So we drive the stakes in, come back and set all the forms on grades. So this is the grade top of your footer. We put those spacers in there, and that spacer is what actually holds it. About every three foot when we put them actually holds it. And it also gives you a place to uh, put and tie your rebar in there. Then you come back and kind of just uh, smooth up any imperfections in your grade with a little bit of rock. And then that all stays in place and becomes your foundation drain that's all said and done. This will all get filled with rock, and the whole inside of that will get filled with rock. And then you got what they call a crossover pipe here, and that will take any water from the inside, cross it over to the outside, and that'll get dug out in the daylight. So, pretty, uh, pretty slick little system. But about 10 yards of concrete, we'll get her uh, poured out here and get our rebar in, and we'll be ready to start stacking walls. Somehow, in the midst of flying my drone, I managed to fly it into the tree. It's up there somewhere. Oh, look, there it is. Let's see if I can fly it out of there. Come here, little guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go, little birdie, go. We got one truck down and good news that truck's supposed to have half the concrete on it and we made it halfway around so we're looking good second truck has showed up you know to get him unloaded Cleman is still hauling dirt down to the driveway we're getting close we're probably within uh within a couple loads down there so get this all wrapped up we should be good for lunch here man hi everything's going good so far Well, the good news is it looks like we're gonna have enough concrete. That's always a plus, right? Yeah. Get about two wheelbarrows, Dutch. That's it. That's it. All right, so here's the last step of pouring these footers. We got the original rebar pin that we've left there. That's what we, when we laid out the house for the footers and everything. So that corner within half inch or so represents the corner of the house. So that string represents the wall so we will come back and put um, wet set rebar about three four inches off that string like so every four foot and that'll go and tie that'll tie the wall and the footer all together All right, guys. There's what she looks like. All poured. She turned out uh, turned out pretty doggone good. So, next step in the whole process on the basement here is is we're gonna get our ICF moved down here, and before we leave today, we'll at least get two courses stacked to uh, protect that rebar so nobody can fall on that rebar. Then we'll uh, go on up with the walls. But while they're getting ICF in place, I'm gonna go back down here. We got all of our dirt hauled in on the driveway. Uh, Cleveland took off to uh, get the fabric underlayment and I'm gonna get these last few piles busted out and shaped up here a little bit so we can maybe roll out the underlayment and get some rock down. All right guys, this is where we're at on the driveway. It's uh, coming around pretty good. We've actually got her relatively close. We need one more load of dirt up there on top and uh, Cleveland threw it on the truck. We're going to uh, We'll track this thing in real good before I do the final cleanup on it and get it good and compact and dump that load of dirt to top. Then uh, he's going to head off town, get a load of uh, gravel. And we'll roll the fabric out and try to at least get enough gravel on it to uh, hold it over the weekend. That's the, uh, that's the plan anyways, but it's packing real nice. It's turning out good. I'm glad we built this up the way we did. It makes all the difference in the world. We did end up putting a second culvert in right there. You can just barely see it. So, Looking good. Found two rocks. We marked the edge of our ditch pipe there.
I go up, come back one more time. All right, guys, as Jerry would say, I just got done painting this driveway up. It turned out pretty darn sharp. It's just got a nice little crown to it. Got a ditch down both sides built up. Got two ditch culverts underneath it. So we're going to, uh, we're gonna roll some fabric out and put some stone on it. All right, so it's all downhill. So a swift kick, we should be good to go, right? Yeah, all right. It works that way. Come on, baby. Get it going. It's trying to go. Ready? One, two, three. Bye bye, baby. It's like you bought the automatic roll. Uh, did you put gas in it? <laughs> it seems to be slowing down. Let's straighten it up again, put a couple staples in it so it don't take off like a kite. Towards me. That'll work. Look at that. We paved it. <laughs> no, I wish. We got, uh, got our fabric rolled down the hill. It rolled out really nice. We got it all stacked down. Me and Clemen debated about whether we should uh, back spread this or just uh, pull in here and spread it. I think we're going to try to just uh, pull in here and spread it, see how it goes. So stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. First load of stone. Good. Gotta watch you got a power line up there. Let me double check you. I think you're good. Yeah, you probably got about two feet. Looking good, looking good. Freaking beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, we're getting ready to wrap her up for the weekend here. Today's Friday and it's been a hot one, but we've had a very productive day. I just wanted to show you how we're gonna leave the hole. Basically, we got all of our rebar covered up and protected. Um, so i'll do i'll start a whole new video monday over uh stacking these walls and what we got going on there we just kind of rushed in two courses to uh make it safe and to get a head start on monday got one load of rock on the driveway and cleman's on his way back with a second load of rock we're gonna get it dumped and probably call today and voila just like magic here he comes with the uh second load of rock he's afraid of turning in and uh, scooting on that fabric because we didn't get that rock real heavy down here on the end so i kind of back off over in the ditch there and then get a get a straighter run into it you don't get stuck in the ditch oh yeah Got her.
absolutely perfect right to the end couldn't have done that any better if we tried this uh gotta need a few more loads of rock on it but the main goal was just to get her covered up for the weekend so all right guys that's gonna be a wrap on this one we'll start back in on our monday get a couple more loads of rock on this driveway and uh get these walls stacked out hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment catch you on the next one